Why in the world should people buy anything from you? That's the question you should be asking yourself every single day. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five reasons that people actually buy. Why they reach in their pocket, pull out their credit card, and purchase anything from you. This video is gonna be jam-packed with some huge tips that you can start applying today. So stick around. All right, my name is Mark Harbert, and if this is the first time that you visited my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, because I put out videos on a regular basis. I wanna make sure that you get access to them. What are the reasons that people buy? You know, all buying is basically based on emotion. People use emotion. Why do you think when you go to the car lot to buy a new car? The car dealer, they wanna get you in the car, they wanna get you driving that car, they wanna get you feeling that car, feeling how it turns, and they wanna get you excited, emotion. They wanna get you emotionally connected to that purchase. Because once they get you emotionally connected, they have a much greater opportunity to sell you the car. So let's dive into the five reasons. And the first one is what we call the what's in it for me syndrome. Everybody speaks the same language. You're watching this video right now because you wanna get something out of it for you. We all have that in our minds. We're all thinking, what's in it for me? When you go to the store to buy something, what's in it for me? Now it seems kind of selfish and it might be to some extent, depending on who you are and how you live your life, but all of us, we're never going to part with money unless there's a benefit to us personally. And that's the way you operate, it's the way your prospects operate. So you've got to understand that when you approach prospects, whether it be through email marketing or social media, no matter what, there is always in the mind of your prospect, what's in it for me. It's not about you. It's about your prospect. Okay. And that's what you have to really keep in mind when you go about building your business. Every time you send an email, you need to remember it's not about you. It's about them. This is what's called the what's in it for me syndrome. So let's dive into number two. Number two is no like, and trust. This is a huge one. No like, and trust is very, very important. You know, back in the days of the wild, wild west of the internet, people used to just be able to slap up a website, put a link to purchase something and people would buy it. But over the years, people have really come to realize that there's a lot of scammers online. No doubt, we all know that. But what's happened is over time, people have gotten smarter and they wanna know who they're doing business with. So it's very important that you create no like, and trust. And there's a number of ways that you can do that. You can do that through email. You do it primarily through content creation, creating videos, blog posts, uh, articles, things like that. Things that will really help people to get to know who you are and kind of connect with you. I think video is by far the best way to do that, where people can see your face, feel your emotions, connect with you on that level. And that will make a huge, huge difference. So creating no like, and trust is a massive, massive way to do that. You primarily will do that through content. So if you're not doing video, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, it's a huge, huge deal. And I'm gonna put a link right down below. Uh, if you're not sure how to get started with video, I put a PDF together called the 101 Live Stream Ideas. Honestly, it can be applied toward video, uh, live streams, whatever. And uh, But it's a great PDF you can print off and give you a ton of ideas to create videos around. So no like and trust, crucial, crucial, crucial. Let's get into number three. All right, number three is very, very important when it comes to marketing. It's called social proof. And basically what social proof is, is social proof is where people look for others that are purchasing or others that verify what they want. It's we're looking for confirmation from others before we make a purchase. This is why social proof is such a big deal in marketing. Social proof adds validity to a purchasing decision. Okay, this is why it's so crucial in your business. It's why it's so crucial that you implement it as well and find those social proof uh, parts to making something work. So if you're promoting like an affiliate program, maybe you don't have your own social proof, but a lot of times if you're promoting affiliate programs, you can get social proof from those platforms or, or those products that are being sold, and you can use those in your marketing as well. So the social proof doesn't necessarily have to be uh, directed directly toward you, 
but it can be used if uh, the, the product creator provides social proof. You can actually use those in your marketing as well to promote that particular product. And if you can implement it in your marketing, you're gonna get massive results, all right? So let's dive into number four. All right, number four is really provide hope. Give people hope of where they can be and where they can go. Everybody is at point A, okay? Wherever that is, it's th that point in their business. Everybody wants to go from point A to point B uh, in their whatever it is that you're selling. If it's losing weight, if it's getting more healthy, if it is generating leads, whatever it is, people are at a point and they want to get to uh, point B. So your goal is to provide hope to them and show them how they can use your product or service to actually accomplish that goal. If you can show that to them and you can adequately show them how you can get them from point A to point B, you are going to provide hope to a prospect. This is one of the reasons that people will buy because they know that there's a plan laid out for them or that there's hope for them. This is where they wanna be and you're gonna show them how to get there. It provides hope and hope is a very, very powerful thing when it comes to people actually pulling out their credit card and purchasing something from you. So you wanna make sure that you work that into your marketing, figure out a way to communicate how your product can help people go from point A to point B, provide them hope that you have the solution and I'm telling you, you will see more people buy your products and services, all right? So let's dive in to number five. This is probably one of the most powerful uh, marketing tools in your, you know, your tool belt, okay? Now, I wanna warn you, this is very powerful, but it can also be very misused, okay? Now, let me use a couple examples to explain what this next one is, it's called the fear of loss. Now, have you ever noticed when you have like a Labor Day sale or it's Memorial Weekend or, you know, it's Mother's Day, a lot of businesses have Mother's Day sale, ends Monday night at midnight, or you have the Labor Day sale, uh, special only, get up to 50% off all our greatest furniture until Monday night, midnight, it ends. You know, what happens is that is creating scarcity. Okay, and this is a great driver for retail sales. It's a great driver for all kinds of sales. But here's where you can really get yourself uh, in trouble using scarcity if you don't mean it. Okay, if you're going to use scarcity, you must mean it. If you're going to give somebody a discount and they only have till a certain time to purchase that, you want to make sure that you mean it. Okay, so don't just set a timer on there and then when the timer ends, the page goes nowhere. I see a lot of marketers do that out there. It's just not a good thing to do. I don't recommend it. Now, if you want to you know, shut it down and then at some point reopen it, that's always possible, that's fine. But when you're giving windows for people to purchase things, you wanna make sure that you mean it and don't misuse that scarcity because you will lose the trust of your audience and you don't want that. Now, imagine if your favorite furniture store uh, sold uh, or was advertising that they're doing a, a Labor Day sale and all the 50% off all merchandise ends Monday at midnight, but then you go in there on Tuesday or Wednesday and they're still saying, oh no, you know, we're still offering 50% off. You're gonna be like, well, why would you sit there and say it ended midnight, you know, Monday at midnight? <laughs> you see what I mean? It's it, it really creates distrust with the audience, all right? So I hope you got some value from these five points. Remember, very, very important, the what's in it for me syndrome. People are, they wanna know what's in it for them. You have the no like and trust factor. You have social proof, which is very, very important. You wanna provide hope to people and use scarcity in your marketing. If you use these and you learn them and you really effectively put them to use in your business, I'm telling you, you will see sales go up in a major, major way and it will really take your business to the next level, all right? Did you get value from this? If you did, do me a favor, comment below on the video. If you're watching this on my blog, comment below and let me know, what do you think? Do you think you can implement these in your business? Uh, maybe you've got another tip. Put it in the comments, I'd love to see it, all right? Talk soon, we'll see ya, bye-bye. <laughs>